Welcome to what can only be described as a typical British summer's day, but I could not care less what the weather forecast looks like for the next seven days because I've got this to brighten everything up. Look at this beauty. This is the first time that I get to drive a Maserati MC20 and we are in peak British summer. And if you're not used to it, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London in the UK, where over the next seven days, I've got Goodwood Festival of Speed and Formula E in London, an event I have never attended before. And I've partnered up with Maserati to not only test some of their most amazing road cars, but experience everything that they have got to throw at me over the next seven days. <laughs> And why start with MC20? There's no better place to start. Oh my God. I've been patient because yesterday in torrential rain, I was pootling around in wet mode and in GT mode. And I've now dialed it up into sport and I'm able to exert 626 brake horsepower out of the three liter twin turbo V6. And it is taking my breath away. <laughs> The size, the weight, 1500 kilos dry weight with the power. They are not making supercars like this in an era where everything's getting heavier with a thousand brake horsepower. This is as nimble as it comes and I've not driven a car like this in a long time where the front end is so dialed in, the steering is so responsive and those brakes, when you stamp on them, my God, you feel like you're on a racetrack and you've visually got so much of this Italian yellow that you feel like you're in something special from start to finish. Walking up to this car, unlocking it, the doors go up, the look is like nothing else in the supercar world. In a world where everything kind of feels the same at the moment, Maserati have broken the trend. They have changed the game. And I can't believe it's taken me this long to drive the MC20 because on a day like today, I wouldn't be in any other car. <laughs> wow. supercar the mc20 is one of the best to ever do it and this is going to be my chariot down to goodwood festival of speed where we're there to celebrate everything maserati and this is just the tip of the iceberg i'm meeting up with greg tomorrow at 5 15 in the morning to get to goodwood when the doors open and then i'm going to be unleashed with my camera to explore and experience the entire range of maserati and over the next seven days <laughs> oh, i'm gonna be a well-rounded well accomplished maserati connoisseur <laughs> With a very early alarm clock, the annual pilgrimage down to Goodwood Festival of Speed had begun. We had a beautiful sunrise. The sun was bouncing off the paint of the MC20. Myself and Greg had driven down in complete comfort and ease. It's an effortless car in GT mode. There was no traffic on the road until we got to the festival where the queues were pretty ridiculous. And I headed straight for the Maserati stand where there was some exciting collections taking place. Here we are, supercar paddock. You excited? We're back for another year. Yeah, are you refreshed after refreshed. that drive? Yeah. No traffic, comfort, GT mode, put in sport mode a little bit. But Easiest now... drive in for sure. And probably one of the comfiest <laughs> no, sports cars I've I told you. for a long time. Mate, how low that car is and how wide it is and how much it's set up for being a supercar, it is so comfortable. It's so nice. It's so and nice. these two lucky people here, these customers are taking delivery of their car at Goodwood Festival of Speed. And then their first experience is being a passenger going up the hill in their own car. Yeah, what an experience. And what, I mean, we've seen the cars, they look Honestly, unbelievable. Yeah, they have exceeded my expectations. Photos don't do it justice. And then we've got an MC12 over here celebrating 20 years of that car. I remember seeing one in Monaco during the F1 weekend. I've seen one in London for Gumball 3000. 
I mean, I prefer them to the. Uh, is it a brother or a sister that you would say? Well, it's got to be the ugly sister. The ugly sister. <laughs> <laughs> they came out in 2004. The MC12. This is the version Corsa. Do you like that Italian accent? It's, it's good. You've had some practice <laughs> recently. <laughs> That's very, very cool. Um, and then we've also got the uh, MC20 Spider. That's what I call it. How do you pronounce that one? Cello. Cello. Which was in fact the car that was going to be taking me up the hill right behind the lucky owners of the Icona and Legenda MC20s. The perfect excuse to follow these owners on an incredibly emotional journey as they experience their cars for the first time, but also to get my understanding and brain recalibrated to what the MC20 is actually capable of in the hands of a racing driver on the Goodwood Hill Climb, which was so impressive. And then to have it in convertible form, being exposed to the elements, just enhance the experience even more. Supercar run done. Oh, I've now taken my helmet off and it is so hot. And I've had to wear long sleeve and trousers as a sort of requirement for going up the hill, but an amazing experience to see what the MC20 can do without any restrictions and traction control fully off. And it is a very dusty track out there. But whilst there is a break on track at the moment, I'm heading up to Electric Avenue where Maserati have a car on the stand that I don't think I have ever seen. And I've heard it is in a very, very unique color. With copywritten music blasting down Electric Avenue, we spent our time exploring the Grand Cabrio Folgare in its beautiful rose gold liquid metal paint, epitomizing Italian elegance and sophistication. I can picture this car being driven down on the French Riviera, parked up in Lake Como, or around the Amalfi Coast in all of its glory. The numbers stack up to producing 750 brake horsepower, 1,350 newton meters of torque from three cleverly positioned electric motors for weight distribution. Zero to 60 takes 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 180 miles an hour. I need to have a go in one of these ASAP and in this exact color. So with Goodwood Festival Speed now firmly behind us, over the last three days, I've daily driven this car and I've taken it into so many different scenarios where I've just fallen further and further in love with the MC20, as I realize I'm in the wrong lane. Just now looking across at the reflection of this car in the shop windows makes me feel happy. The bright yellow popping off the sun. This is a proper supercar. And we knew that it was a great car when it won Evo Car of the Year in 2022. But also when I went out to California last summer and I saw so many MC20s, to me, the Californians are the automotive trendsetters. They know what a great car is. And I saw so many MC20s out there. I'm driving over to Hatfield, where Maserati have organized a little day for me to get to grips with a whole bunch of different Maseratis. And why I'm so excited is because this is going to act as part two of my adventures with Maserati, because I get to pick what my next daily driver is that I then take to London for the Formula E e -pre. So whilst this is my last drive in the MC20, and I'm incredibly sad about it because it's such a great daily driver, an amazing GT car, which I was able to test down at Goodwood Festival Speed, also a ridiculous track car, because obviously I went up the hill in the cello. Just gotta make sure I'm creeping out, lovely. Um, what an amazing car dynamically when you start turning everything off and being able to see what that car is capable of and what this car is capable of in the hands of a racing driver stamped the seal of approval for me on the MC20. I thoroughly enjoyed driving this car in so many different scenarios and now this is my final drive but it's only the start of part two of my adventures with the Maserati so I can't be sad because it's almost like Everything's about to kickstart again because I'm gonna have a whole bunch of new experiences driving the Gricali, driving the new Gran Turismo. So many new experiences to be had over the next seven days. Um, so I'm waving goodbye to the MC20. It's not gonna be the last time that I drive one of these cars, but I will leave the video there. Make sure you tune in to part two where I get to test drive a bunch of Maseratis, pick the best one, take it to Formula E, and I'm gonna be meeting a whole bunch of people along the way. So this is gonna be an amazing weekend and an amazing week to follow on from the MC20. Thank you very much for watching. Head into the link in the description if you wanna learn more about MC20 and Maserati in general, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, goodbye guys.